I would be super happy if there was nothing but CrossFit gyms in the world and there was no other fitness brand. Again, I'm biased. Now, I love that people are doing whatever they want, but I do think that there is a very big possibility that in five or six years, CrossFit is gonna own a much larger percentage of the fitness space, and then you are going to consider rebranding again. And now you've rebranded twice in six years, and that's no different than the shitty car salesman down the street that changes names every six weeks because everybody finds out that he's a huge turd. All right guys, welcome back to Jerk Black Talk. I'm Jason Fernandez, we're here at CrossFit Rife. And today I wanna to talk about something that's basically just been pinging my email inbox for the past three weeks. And there's a lot of stuff going on on affiliate owners pages, in email, and a lot of uh, marketing agencies talking about rebranding your gym. Now, I'm not saying that rebranding your gym is bad, and full disclosure, I am biased towards CrossFit. I work for CrossFit, I work in the training department, so I'm biased with regard to that organization and that community. <clears throat> so brand your, rebrand your gym or don't, quite frankly, I don't care, but here's some things for you to consider about why you're rebranding. And I think the problem is people are not acknowledging certain things that are going on within their gym or within the industry. So there's probably one of two reasons that you are considering rebranding. The first one I probably full, uh, fully agree with, which is I purchased another gym uh, that's probably a piece of crap, and then I need to rebrand it because I don't want to be associated with that bad brand anymore. So in that scenario, rebranding is fantastic. There's a lot of gyms being sold these days, uh, and in most, most scenarios, those gyms are not doing well. So then I would tell you, go ahead and rebrand because it was not your brand before, so to rebrand it, I want it to be mine. The second scenario is a little bit different and a little bit trickier, and here's probably what's happening. You're running a gym that's probably not doing well, I decide that I need outside cons consultation. I go to whoever, any number of affiliate kind of consulting firms that are out there, and they suggest that I rebrand because it's gonna be easier for me to go through and start to get clients, and that CrossFit has a bad stigma. And I'm not even denying that. CrossFit does have a bad stigma, but that's starting to reverse, which is something I think a lot of people need to consider. If you look at the content that the journal is creating, that's starting to change, and they understand that there's a stigma associated with that. And in that talk with that consultant, what they're gonna tell you is, hey, we're gonna rebrand, we're gonna call it Bob's Fitness, or whatever, doesn't matter. And they're gonna say stuff like, hey, can you provide me a P&L? Do you know what your balance sheet is? What's your customer experience look like? Your website needs to be re revamped. You need to start producing content on a daily basis. And you're gonna take that advice because you should because it's good advice. Now here's the problem that I personally have. And again, I'm biased, so take it for what it's worth. Here's what's actually happened. You opened a gym, you assumed that just having CrossFit in the name was enough branding for you to support your business, and it's not. That's just not how it works. Seven years ago, yes, that time has come and gone. So what you decided to do was, I'm just gonna change the name, and I'm gonna start applying best practices. And here's the issue with that. A, you're not fooling anybody when you rebrand. If it was Bob's Fitness or Bob's CrossFit, and then you just decided to change the name to Bob's Fitness, nobody's fooled, with the exception of people who that don't know any better, and that's a short-term decision, which I don't think is ideal. What I would argue is better is that you just take those good practices and start implementing them. And ultimately, here's my beef with the whole scenario. You ran a shitty gym, it didn't go well because you weren't applying best practices to your business and your gym and your coaching. You realized that and then you decided to put in best practices and then rebrand your gym. And what you've done is you've abandoned the overarching brand that gave you the opportunity to do what you do, right? So you abandoned CrossFit because you were ignorant and then you decided to change it and say and call yourself Bob's Fitness. <clears throat> and I think that's a mistake and I think it's a long-term mistake. Here's why. 
I would be super happy if there was nothing but CrossFit gyms in the world and there was no other fitness brand. Again, I'm biased. Now, I love that people are doing whatever they want, but I do think that there is a very big possibility that in five or six years, CrossFit is gonna own a much larger percentage of the fitness space, and then you're going to consider rebranding again. And now you've rebranded twice in six years, and that's no different than the shitty car salesman down the street that changes names every six weeks because everybody finds out that he's a huge turd. And you could find yourself in that position. CrossFit is gonna to continue to grow and continue to have more impact on the health and fitness community. If you haven't seen his pod podcast with Julie Fouché, they're switching gears and they're trying to transition from a fitness organization to a health and wellness organization and that's good for everybody. So if you're thinking about rebranding, I would urge you this, don't change your brand. Give back to the brand that gave you the opportunity to open your gym by just implementing best practices rather than abandoning it because that's the easy way out. And again, it's the easy way out because reinventing your own brand takes longer rather than just changing the name, calling it whatever, and then fooling a couple people out of ignorance. That's just a short-term decision and I think ultimately a lot of people are gonna lose because now you have no identity. And brand, if you're not up on this, brand is everything. If you're switching your brand constantly, eventually you're going to lose. So rebrand or don't, I don't care. Just some things to consider when you're having that discussion about rebranding. Again, I think there's some opportunities or there are some scenarios where rebranding is a fantastic idea. I think a lot of the reason people are rebranding right now is a terrible idea. Again, I don't really care if you do it or not. Just want to throw some stuff out there for people to consider moving forward that are a little bit more long term. So. Uh, if you guys have questions about this or if you want to discuss it more, I'm more than open to having a conversation about it. So hit me up. And uh, if you like this content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks.